Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to We're Definitely in Japan, Not America, So Suck It, I mean, uh, Phoenix Wright Justice for All. <laughs> We've been also known as we're in Japan, not America. Anyhow, we're on the we're on the final trial today for reunion and turnabout. We oh, already we are. Yeah, it's only. Two. I guess that would make more sense because I was like, we we know all this. Why wouldn't it be ended by this trial? Okay. Yeah, like I said in in the first LP we did after the first game, they don't have three day tri free trial periods and free trials in one case. Okay. So it's that's kind of nice. And, but that's why the investigation periods are taking longer in this. Hey, I like investigation periods. <laughs> Alright, so chapter start. June 22nd, 951 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby, number three. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time, all by herself, and she's so grown up! Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and, well, I'm the daughter of the Master, but I'm still just a little girl. And, on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Yeah, no kidding. Good morning! The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, my Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother's coming today to show her support. Y yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Uh huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please? It's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough! You can't show weakness in front of the person you love! Pearly! Not this again. Please? Can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two in your own time. Whew, thank goodness. Nick. This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. W what do you mean? What's going on? Oh, I just realized what we're going to be doing. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah, we're, we're accusing her mom of being a murder accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Protecting children. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fey. Again. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me, so I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Ugh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Question, do you think Von, Kar Von Karma girl notices, like, Pearl is Mia? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure, because sometimes they're like, who is this? What? Right. And sometimes they're like, oh, what a cute little girl. And you're like, yeah. no. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. 
Wait, what? Was Von Karma also snooping around in the channeling chamber? Maybe. I don't know, because, like, obviously we're investigating, we're going around seeing all the different things. Is Von Karma, like, just looking things up on the internet, like, gotta figure out this, or is she also, like, she I like She just sends Gumshoe to do her dirty work. But we haven't seen Gumshoe, like, at all. Yeah, that's kind of true, actually. That's what I'm Maybe like, they're just like, huh. we did all this stuff yesterday, now we'll just, like, rework this. Okay. But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And, I believe that this is when she dropped the key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. And she brought her candle, too! Witness, name and occupation, and you're not allowed to drink here. <laughs> My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ah! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. S spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes, that is... You, be quiet. Can we now, please arrest her? Witness, something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. W what in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. W what? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Naya Fey, while in possessed state, managed to escape the channeling chamber. It looks like she's wearing pajamas. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like a kimono. She's, it looks she's like not, pajamas. But it's probably the DS graphics is part mm -hmm. of it. Order, order, order! Miss Fey, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ant on, the, on this trial. Auntie. Auntie. I'm like, I just realized aunt. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. I'm Maya's escape. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Hmm. This is getting weird. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. She's also, like, the overly polite type, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be kind of hard to drag stuff out of her. <sighs> I'm almost wondering what? if... Maya was in another spot, and what's-her-face Eeny Miney was dressed up as her. Ooh. That would How be would you get the wig? But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it could yeah. maybe be. Yeah, okay, alright. So you're saying then the person in the photo is not actually Maya possessed, but rather Eeny Miney? Maybe. Because here's the thing. She was dreaming, which means she wouldn't have been channeling. So yeah, maybe so she didn't actually channel the nurse's spirit. She never spirit. actually channeled the nurse's spirit, which makes me think, well, it needs to be someone who looks like the nurse. Which so, we saw which we in saw. the same box. Eni opens her eyes and she has Mimi's eyes as yeah. well. Just now you said those two. Who are the two people you were referring to? 
I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lana's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. <laughs> in any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. For, really? for breaking down the door. Oh. <laughs> hmm, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? We even told her she could, so... Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another... Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. Another person? I want to hear the end of that sentence. Question, Question further! further. <laughs> My goodness. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. The lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger. Is what I thought to myself. What about you? I don't know. Like... If anything, I I don't know. But she she's always in those shoes, and those are hard to walk in. <laughs> those like teeth, gate, gata, gata, teeth gate, 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 gata shoes. They're they're like the wooden shoes that have the little platform. You walk on stilts, basically. Oh. That she there. She's actually wearing them there. She's wearing the same costume forever. So I'm guessing she was like. Originally, I was like, wait, why didn't she go get the police or something? And then it was hard for her to run. But it's hard for her to walk, period, in those things, so that would make oh. more sense, I guess. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. Hey, you would have been a good uh, defense attorney, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> the last bit of her sentence sounds like a red herring. If that's the case, I'm not going to fall into her trap today. If the defense has no further questions, let us press on. A pistol was hanging from her hand, and she was in a daze. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection! The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? Question further, leave her. I, I'm gonna just keep saying question further. Alright. I don't wanna see it at least. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the re renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she- Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there's always later. Y yes very well. Ugh, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. I'm sure Von Karma's allowing this testimony because it's advantageous to her. Which means I shouldn't press Morgan any further. You're finally beginning to understand, aren't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? That the wisest man is he who understands, understands that he, he understands, understands nothing. nothing. Now, witness, continue with what happened. I'm trying to imagine 13-year-old Von Karma against an adult, like, Payne. Winston Payne, and he's like, what could this be? And then she's like, it was you! <laughs> that would be interesting. I would love to see Was that. it really that easy for her to escape from you? Shame to admit such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. But she's wearing those shoes! There's no way you could have escaped from you so easily. If you're in a kimono or a yukata. Yeah, yukata. Those are super hard to walk in. It, so, I understand. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Faye. 
back! Hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... Morgan's eyes are a little off-putting. Her eyes are a little off-putting? She looks just scared. I don't know. Um, she's like, you oh... You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed on the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness? Elaborate on that point for us. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. I cannot believe. Oh, what? Ten minutes. Ten minutes you can do a lot. That's true. So I'm It's amazing what you could do in a whole day if you put your mind to it. <laughs> Is that because you are unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Question forever and leave her be. I mean it. Sure, keep questioning forever. So while you are unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went? I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the, def the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Oh yeah, she is wearing the like, platform It's shoes. true that the witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. Ooh, we get to have me eeny miny. Sweet. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm, I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what we should be- Eek! Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee has done was she, was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She she went to speak with someone? Oh, oh Morgan probably left. Probably eeny miny. If she was actually trained, like, the nurse would be like, Hey, sis, what's up? How you been? <laughs> oh, I've been fine. You know. Just who, got out of the hospital. Who, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny miny? I think you can see where this is headed. <laughs> Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's, like, I guess most people call it cult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well... Hmm, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine. For my sake? Witness testimony after the murder. Like, when the channeling started, I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was, like, oh my god, totally my sister! I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady! You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, your honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at the time. 
Oh, are you saying that the spirit of this the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes. Meanie Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. Yeah, you can't just be like, oh yeah, and she told me something awful. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Okay, would smashing a car into, like, a wall really cause a fire that big? I don't know! That's what I was also thinking about! <laughs> Mythbusters she, get on that! <laughs> maybe, maybe they hit, like, I don't know, something very specific. Oh, like, I put the gas tank in the front of the car! <laughs> Thanks, Amy! <laughs> she took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? Y yes There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It's a bit hard to swallow. <sighs> However, all of the evidence... All of the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia! What do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. You know, I gotta say, Pearl might be stronger than Maya. Because she's just like. It's like, Channeling can you conflict. channel your cousin? Yeah! Yeah, sure! <laughs> Versus Maya, where she's like, I need to call upon the power of desperateness! Jesus. <laughs> desperateness! Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. I thought it was going to be like a commercial. Like, we believe that every cross-examination should be perfect. Like, <laughs> not being funny! Our <laughs> sister <laughs> <trusts> <laughs> <versus> <laughs> the people! <laughs> Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one entertaining than the last. After the murder. I just realized Eenie Miney loves bracelets. <laughs> like, when the channeling started, I was- HOLD IT! <laughs> was that because of your, um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there was sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I mean, they were grilling burgers if they had sesame seed buns. <laughs> and, but here's the thing, it's like, I'm allergic to sesame- Oh, sesame seed buns! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really eeny money, are you well, serious? sometimes they'll put sesame seeds in rice. <laughs> Wait, what? Please tell me you've heard of this. Black sesame seeds? You, you mean poppy seeds? <laughs> no, black sesame seeds. I've <laughs> literally never heard of this okay, before. Okay, they, they can sometimes put sesame seeds on rice and stuff. Oh, on rice, not in rice. It's not like, I bought a pack of brown rice. There's sesame seeds in it. That's no. what I thought you were saying. Like, no! <laughs> but like, if you were having something in Japan, Fornia, then it might have sesame oh, seeds all right. in it. I had this, like, Premonity. Premonition. Premonition. I can't talk. I'm really dumb. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to be, like, totally a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. 
Did something happen while you were sleeping? Like, a little later, someone came into the room. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Ah, uh, no, I think I'm, you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time was it when someone came into your room. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about that. S sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? <laughs> Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? N never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room? <laughs> that was the second time that happened. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. It's G-O-D, not G-A-W-D. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You yes. guess? <laughs> Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. <laughs> mm, but more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Mr. M er, Mr. Mrs. <laughs> Mimi Miney? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mimi Miney. <laughs> I, like, hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was so happy in, like, a sad way. <sighs> seen her in so long? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were happy in a sad way? Yeah. Like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, but, like, maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. But, like, I know all about the Kerrang channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what did she say? Hmm, should I drop this line of questioning? Just, I don't know. You pick, Artie. Alright. <laughs> There's no need to press her over something this minor. I should be trying to find a more decisive problem with her testimony. So, like, is it okay? I'm going to, like, finish my story, okay? Yeah, yeah. My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. <sighs> something terrible? What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did she, like, forget already? Foolish fool with a foolish safe, for a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, excuse me, princess! <laughs> Should I ask you a story again? Don't bother asking. Really? I did just hear this story. It's not like my memory is that bad. Actually, the defense is fine and does not need to hear the story again. Very well. You may continue your testimony, Miss Miney. I know there has to be something here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up. But don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. Yeah, we need to question this. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? Nope. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... OW! Don't keep badgering her! You know the phrase, OBJECTION? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, Mr. Wright... This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister... Is it really that important? Oh, it's nothing. It is very important. <laughs> well, it could be very important if she's still carrying a gun. <laughs> is it really that important? Let me ask you. Is it really that important for you to ask? Of course it's very important. Well, I don't think it's that important at all! Yow! Stop 
spewing such nonsensical things then? Pay no attention to this twit and continue, witness. Like, okay. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right. Mr. Wright, Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. I'm, like, totally cool with that. I wasn't, like, scared at all, and her costume looked totally, like, normal. No, it didn't. <laughs> it's Maya! <laughs> Ma is Maya normal? <laughs> so, there was nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance? Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. She apparently dresses up in costumes when back in the day. Hmm. Hmm? Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. That's impossible. Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? No, you can't. <laughs> Alright, well, you already found it. <laughs> yeah. That's an easy one. Objection! That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eni. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Ray? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't really think you fought that bad at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone like this appeared before you. The blood spray. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um. Is she wearing pants or a skirt, Amy? Uh, pants. Order! Order! Miss Miney, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> eat that pizza dough! Yeah! Miss Miney? I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me! Um, that- Yeep! And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I- I, uh... That witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. Yeah, a lot of people do! <laughs> so many! First of all, calm yourself down, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. Uh, if you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. She didn't really do much. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of what it, her name is now. Mine? <laughs> no, no. Um, it wasn't like April May where April May was just like, <laughs> <laughs> like, basically turned into, like, a football player. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and that definitely happened. <laughs> yes. After Threw the, footballs at us, After you know. the murder part two. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? Yeah, I know. The only thing that I could see her maybe being, like, huh, is if she thought it was, like, a dream. You know, like, that thing where you, like, wake up and you're, like, oh, uh, and you're still kind of, like, half asleep, and then you'd be, like, what? Oh, sis, what's up? I don't know, I could see that being. We flew out a window. window! So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended in. Um, okay. <laughs> and then I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Really? And Morgan didn't see you? And we didn't see you when we were running back and forth? We were in the village area calling the police, though, I think. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. that probably took yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps? Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No. Alright, I guess not. Very well, you may question the witness. I'm gonna have that song from Hamilton now stuck in my head. There's a song called Satisfied in it. Oh. It's great. Like, the side room was, like, kinda dark. <laughs> it was creepy! Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Objection! Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Yeah, that, that's right! 
Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause, Witness. You may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Ooh, just ignore Wait, my okay. good point. Ugh, can't breathe. Let me out of here. Costume is purple. The plan totally blood it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't see the blood? But it's white on part of it. Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. I sort of understand this a bit. Continue. What if they were walking back to the championship room? Like, Whoa, what's up with the gun? <laughs> okay, it would be freaky. But, like, I don't know. Because we're siblings. Say you're dead. Or say I'm dead. And you're sleeping, and all of a sudden I come back to life. You're like, what the... Oh, that's you. That has to be like you're not looking at my hands. You're probably looking at my head. Or okay, the there's I don't a know. thing we have that's called peripheral vision. Even if you're focusing on one <gasps> thing, you can yeah. notice well, stuff Well, this girl it. clearly doesn't have it. She's also wearing a hat. She also has her eyes closed the into all the time, basically. Yeah. So wow, she's actually blind. Well, she's not because apparently she's opened her eyes. <laughs> and what? So she's like tall. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Be like, yeah. So, she <laughs> takes revenge on Dr. Gray. She takes revenge on Dr. Gray, kills him, goes to her sister, and, she, and they're like, no, wait, let's apologize for this, all right? We just, like, yeah, okay. we just put blood on this lady's floor. <laughs> like, Morgan's like, okay. God wants me to forgive that. <laughs> <laughs> no good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement... He'll end the trial, I know. We have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen, we can't give up. Do, do, like do, do, the side do, do, room do. and the chain lane chamber. <laughs> yep, that's the testimony. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so. I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The sooner, the better. She says with her whip at the ready. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place. Hmm, like, what do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you were in the side room, were going to the crime scene, or when you arrived at the crime scene? Oh, gosh. Okay, number one, side room, there wasn't a box in there. Yep. Going to the crime scene. Um, wait, she was just walking with her sister, like, da 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 da, -da like, Out of the side room for winding way, and then for the meditation room, and then into the channeling chamber. Oh. Shoot, it could be all of these! Because if you arrive at the crime scene, you could find Morgan, she's like, <gasps> You could, um, go to the- You could be on your way to the crime scene and be like, Um, why is this lady dumping a key in the incinerator? <laughs> or you could be in the side room like, Why'd the box move? This is weird! Okay, we'll do of all of these then. We're, we're doing side room. Time. I'm talking about when you were in the side room, of course. Um, like, nope, nothing strange. Hmm, what should I do? Press harder, leave her beat. Press! Nope. Think harder! I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Just give up already, Mr. Phoenix, right? I wonder if I put too much faith into Eni's ability to do anything with that brain. Yeah. No good, I can't find anything wrong. Even if I push her, this is probably a dead end. I should search for something stronger to hook her with. 
Hmm. Well, if the defense is finished, please continue with your testimony. Like, okay. Alright. I knew it must have been going to the crime scene! <laughs> I'm talking about when you arrived at the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. Not no even blood. Morgan unconscious. No blood, no, no dead, dead aunt, no hmm, dead body. what should I do? Well, obviously your sister told her no about the dead body. Holes. <laughs> no blood. Yeah, she's gonna look real close at the folding screen. <laughs> Think harder. I know you can remember so Oh, man, it's just the same stuff over and over again. All right. Let's do it. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Yes. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Again. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? It's very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. Zilch. Well, maybe Morgan was still knocked out. We were still she with the was... police. Okay, she's talking about the way to the channeling chamber, not when she was in the channeling chamber. Right. Way to the channeling chamber. Morgan could still be knocked out. She could still be with Sis. We could still be at the police. And Pearl... That's... Where's Pearl? Pearl was in the box. No. Pearl broke the jar! Yep! Pearl broke the jar! How'd you not see this child? She's alive, thank goodness. Oh, you just put her on. Yep. Oh, okay. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber? However, that is impossible. Wait. Wouldn't Pearl have said something? Yeah, exactly. Why didn't she say something? Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting, you have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh no! He's gonna spill the beans! Morgan's gonna be so mad! Unless she's arrested. The garden? Yup. Which means anyone walking through the area would have had to have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Yeah! She looked like a ghost. Yep. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. So, do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous! It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish- There's no way someone walking along the winding way could not have noticed Pearl. The gigantic broken- <laughs> Your driver's license <laughs> photo! Oops, silly me, slip of the finger. M Mr. Wright, you need to keep control of that finger of yours. As I thought, this is the wrong piece of evidence. Ow! Your responsible lawyer has no place in this court. I suggest you go home. Ow! So it's come down to a blunt go home. Don't overthink this. All you need to do is remember what happened yesterday. Yeah. The the ball. Oh, the sacred. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot. What is that going to prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. She broke the urn? Yo! Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah! And Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. Miss Miney? Pearl was there, in the winding way at that time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. 
I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You are a masterful liar! Yeah. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. Objection. The witness just testified about that! Th that's right! I was, like, sleeping in the side room! Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Yeah, I guess so. There is no way. <laughs> we saw her sleeping, though. Or at least in her bed. She could have just put the pillow there, like you said, though. Because yeah. we didn't check, because we're like, we don't want to disturb her. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, my mistake. Very well. Now then, let's proceed. Wait, Phoenix! B what Did I miss something again? You shouldn't let up on this line of questioning. Huh? Why not? Who is the only person who you didn't see with your own eyes at the time of the murder? It was Eeny Miney, correct? Which means you can safely assume... She is the real murderer. That's a pretty daring assumption. But it's the most obvious, isn't it? I mean, is there anyone else? Morgan! Morgan! But no. Well, no, I guess not. Morgan was outside with us while the murder was happening. Whatever. <laughs> it's worth a shot, even if it is in the dark. So let's try to prove that Miss Miney was not in the side room at that time. Um, this is bluff number... We've done this so many times in this case, I've lost count. Your lies end here! But what do you- The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? It's in her testimony just now, it's in the evidence. Help me, Mia! <laughs> Mia! <laughs> um... I don't know. Mia! Help us! <laughs> hmm, I may have overreached on this one. <laughs> Is there really a contradiction somewhere? Don't worry. You're on the right path, Phoenix. It might be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's there. So, just this once, do you want me to help you out? Yes, please! No, I think I can do it. <laughs> Wait, is this like the easy mode helper? Is this like Rosalina whenever you're on the Mario Galaxy levels? <laughs> Oh, I think it's just this once, and she'll just give you the nudge in the right direction. Oh. Well, you know how to do it, so... Alright. Hmm, it's hard for me to see. I can't just accept her help without thinking it through myself. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Give it another try. Mr. Wright, what is your answer? Ah! Okay, time to add another bluff to the pile. <laughs> the witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. But it's not possible. Earlier in your testimony, Miss Miney, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know. It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. S so Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. How'd you know? Miss Miney, <laughs> how did you know that fact? It, how? I concede that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who is asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. However, you didn't go there by way of the winding way. But, but look at the manor guide map! If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, your honor. Which is why... Which is why I ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um... Eh. Miss Miney, please answer the question. Objection! Don't ask a question off of a baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you've pulled it up, put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? 
Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. Oh, oh, okay. So now is the time to prove it. And you know what? I think this might be where we have to end the episode for today. <laughs> wow! <laughs> What a cliffhanger! Sorry, but I think there's only, like, one or two testimonies left after this. Okay. And we're at the 50-minute mark, so sorry to kind of leave it on that cliffhanger, but... What's it's gonna, gonna happen? It's gonna happen sometimes. Yeah. There's, there's no way around it. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time to hear us prove any Miney's guilt, most likely, unless it's a which she wasn't a killer. What? It was actually Maya. What? It was actually Don Paolo in disguise. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.